Friends, 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 Mr. Sally here. We're continuing to learn about our informational and non-fiction texts. We are going to learn today about glossaries. We talked about them briefly yesterday. And it's very similar to an index, with, and they're both alphabetical lists of keywords and definitions. But sometimes the glossary isn't going to give us a page number. The index always will. But each keyword that we see in the glossary is an important word from the text. So keep that in mind as we go through our quick little lesson and know that every word in a glossary is important. They all have key details and they can help you learn more about the informational text. So again, watch the entire video as always. There is a password at the end and think about what a glossary is. How is a glossary different from the index? So we're going to think about what a glossary is, how, how it helps us become better readers and learn quicker, and how it's different from an index. They're very similar, though. They're synonyms. So a glossary is an ordered list of keywords in the text. The list also includes the definition of the word. So that's one big difference. A definition. Every one of these words has a definition. I know what it means. If I look up the word hatch and I'm not sure what that word means, I can read that word, but I didn't use my context clues well enough to understand it. I look in the glossary, I see the word hatch means to come out of an egg. I know that chickens and birds lay eggs, so that when chickens and borns, chickens and birds come out of their eggs, they're hatching. I know that from looking at the definition. The glossary always gives you a definition next to the word. If I'm looking for a word or the definition of protect, I'm going to look in alphabetical order. Look for my P's. I see the word protect. Next to that word, I see the definition. The definition of protect is to keep safe. Every glossary has the definition next to the word. I repeat, every glossary has the definition next to the word. So if I was looking for an animal with six legs and three body parts, I would have to read the definition until I find one that sounds and looks just like that. Animal with six legs and three body parts. I'm looking for a definition. I see that right here. Animal with six legs and three body parts. I see the word insect. So I know that an insect is an animal with six legs and three body parts. I looked at the definition and I found the word next to it. Now we're going to compare the two. Here I see a glossary. Not all glossaries have pictures, friends, but this one does. And I know the keywords are in bold, followed by the definitions. This is a nice glossary here. It gives you the picture, it gives you a keyword in bold, and it gives you the definition of that keyword. Here I see an index. And all I'm seeing on my index is a word and a page number. So some glossaries do have a page number, but not all. Every index has a page number. We know that an index is a place where you reference a word and you can go back and look at it in the text. It's an ordered list of words that you can go find in the text and you'll learn more about them when you go back and look in the text. It shows you where to look in the book. <clears throat> Telescope, I mean, um, glossaries give you the definition right away. Very, very cool difference. And these two things, they work hand in hand. They're like brother and sister of informational texts. They're like the auntie and uncle or the mother of the father and mother of the informational texts. They help guide you. They help you learn more. And they make it so you don't have to read everything 
just to find certain pieces of information. If I just wanted to learn about gas, all I would have to do is go to the glossary and read the definition. If I wanted to know more about gas, I could go to the index, see that gas is on page four, go back into my book and learn more about that from page four. Very, very cool tools. Good readers always know how to use these text features correctly, and they know never to get them mixed up. So the glossary that you're going to use in your exit ticket is really cool. It has your page numbers next to it. It has your page numbers next to it, okay? So make sure you stay on point. Again, we're not going to, we don't have to close it, close the window to open and take the exit ticket, friends. You can watch the video and take the exit ticket at the same time. Remember, click the, the plus button, go to our classroom, go to your classwork, find the day, which is Thursday, and you can open it and do it at the same time. See, you can watch and do your homework at the same time. All right, friends? Magic password is the magic password is sunshine. Make sure you type it at the bottom on the exit ticket. Sunshine. Bye, friends. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Sally out.